Measuring GDP, Gross Domestic Product. GDP tries to capture the value of all final goods and services produced in an economy during the course of a year. How is that measured? What is it that the statistical agencies actually do? We will see, for example, that it is reported that a particular country, its economy has grown by 2.5% or 1.3%. This is what we want to try to figure out. How do we know when an economy has grown? <laughs> to illustrate, we're going to use a simple economy of only two products, one good and one service. Suppose we know that in 2019, this economy produced 10 units of the good and five units of the service. And in 2020, 12 of the goods, three of the service. We also know what are the prices, the market prices, at which each of those products sold. So we can add the value of total production. There was $1,000 worth of the good, 10 times 100, and $1,000 worth of the service, five multiplied by 200. And so the value of GDP in 2019 was $2,000. We can repeat that exercise for 2020 and get that the value of production was 2,070. And let's add a third year just so we have more data to work with. This kind of calculation is called GDP at current prices. What economists would call nominal GDP. But nominal GDP cannot distinguish between changes in the volume of production and changes in the value of production because both the volumes and the values, the prices, change from year to year. And we don't know whether it is the volume or the prices that are accounting for the increase we see from 2000 to 2070 and from 2070 to 2640. We don't know if this economy is actually producing a greater volume of goods and services or it's producing the same volume, but simply charging more for them. So if we want to get at if the economy, if the amount of production has grown and by how much, then we can't use GDP at current prices. The increase in 2020 and the increase in 2021 don't give us any useful information. One solution though is that if we can't distinguish between changes in volume and changes in prices, then we can calculate GDP by pretending that the prices haven't changed. We evaluate 2019 at 2019 prices, but then when we get to 2020, we ignore the price changes and use the same prices that obtained in 2019, and similarly for 2021. If we now reevaluate the value of production in each year, then we get an aptly named series called GDP at constant prices because we have held the prices constant. This is what economists would call a measure of real GDP. So when we see that in 2020, our measure of GDP is lower than it was in 2019, then we know that 
what we have is a measure that the volume of production has contracted. And then the increase in 2021 means that the volume of production increased in 2021 over 2020. We get a relatively unambiguous result. And this is generally how national accounts data is classified when statistical agencies publish it. It says GDP at constant prices in billions of shillings, GDP at current prices in billions of shillings. So that is how you can interpret these series whenever you see them published. So to know whether an economy is growing and how much it is growing, we estimate how much an economy has grown by calculating GDP in each year using the prices of a single year.